they were students at the school. We turn now to something real, a very special class of phenomena, which are not physical powers or psychic powers, but which are inherited and learned. We call them special abilities. And the people who possess them are called savants, people of profound or extensive learning. Some savants are autistic, but our next guest certainly is not. In fact, at 28, this man is about to become a professor of mathematics at Harvey Mudd College, and he possesses a very special ability. He's what's known as a lightning calculator. Ladies and gentlemen, Arthur Benjamin. <laughs> Arthur, why don't you just go right ahead and show us what you can do? Okay, thank you, Randy. Uh, my name is Arthur Benjamin. With me is Professor Ray Hyman, who will be verifying our calculations. Uh, but first, we have to make sure that his calculator is working properly. Randy, would you have somebody in the audience give us a two-digit number, please? All right, sir, would you give us a two-digit number? 25. 25. 25. And another two-digit number, please? 37. Multiply 25 times 87. Make sure you get 925 <laughs> or the calculator is not working. Is your calculator working? Yes, 925. Very good. Now, I, I noticed that took you a little bit of time to get your answer. Let me give you a shortcut for multiplying even faster on the calculator. There's something called the square of a number, which is taking a number and multiplying it by itself. For instance, the square of 5 is 25. Now, on this calculator, we can square very quickly by entering the number hitting times and then equals. That's a shortcut the calculators use to multiply faster. What I'm going to try and do now is to square two-digit, three-digit, even four-digit numbers in my head faster than he can do on the calculator. Randy, would you have somebody start us off with a two-digit number? A two-digit number, sir. 74. The square 74. is 5,476. Wow. Right? Is that right? Right on. Let's try another. Let's try a three-digit number, Randy. All right, ma'am. Um, 255. 255. We'll give you 65,025. <laughs> Is that correct? Enough. Son of a gun. Let's do another three-digit number. Another uh, three-digit number. A three-digit number, sir. 327. 326,929. That's right on. <laughs> Is that right, let's, Ray? Yeah. Oh, let, let's go and do a four-digit number now, A four-digit number. All right, but before we do this, all right, do me a favor, so the folks will understand a little about what you're doing. Would you do it out loud for us? Sure. Now, I'm not going to be explaining what's going on in my head, but I will think out loud. Let me say something in advance. I'm, you might hear a word creep up in the calculation. I'm using a phonetic code, a mnemonic device, to help uh, the memory process a little, to go a little bit faster. Okay, Randy, have somebody give us a four-digit number. All right, sir, a four-digit number. Uh, 4,324. 4324. Okay, 4324. Double that is 4648. 4648. Multiply that as 18592. That's 18 million. 592. 592 becomes uh, Lappin. Lappin. Okay. So the, 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 the original number was at 4324. 4, 3, 2, 4. Okay, 4324 square. Uh, 324 square is 104,400 plus 576. 104,976. Add that to Lappin. Becomes 696,976. Right on. Right well, on. Uh, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause. Lightning calculator, Arthur Benjamin.